Oh my god, you mixed up our fruit! Which ones are my organic ones? Lady, calm down. There's not much difference in the quality of the fruit. Look, you can't even tell them apart. They are not the same. Organic food is much healthier. Well, genetically modified foods can be altered to increase their nutritional value so that they have more vitamins and minerals than their organic counterpart. For example, golden rice has genes for making vitamin A. This makes it perfect for the malnourished around the world to deny them their daily value of vitamin A. Doesn't putting genes in the plant make them dangerous? That's just a myth spread by the uneducated public. Research is still being conducted, so all of the effects of the foods cannot be documented, but they all show promise. Roughly 75% of all processed food foods contain a genetically modified ingredient. How did you find out all of this? My unmarried boyfriend is a scientist who works with genetically modified foods. Well, I'm glad he's not married. Anyway, my husband works with gene foods as well. He's just never taught me anything about them. I learned more from a stripper than I have from my husband. Imagine that. Would you like to join me and my family for dinner? I would love to. Thank you. You're welcome. How was your day? Stressful. Some guy found out that Soylent Green is people. Had to deal with that all day. How was your day? Some lady invited me over for dinner because I explained to her about genetically modified foods. Uh-huh. Sounds exciting. Okay, I'm done. Beep, beep. There goes my pager. Lab needs me. I guess I'll just see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. What are you making for dinner, honey? Beef fajitas. Did you buy organic corn? Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. But it's so expensive. I didn't make a meal a year so you can spend it on expensive food. What would you rather me buy? Genetically modified products courtesy of Techno Food. Wow, you sound like a commercial for your company, but they can be good for Kelly. Who's Kelly? Our daughter. I thought her name was Stacy. I still don't think they're good for her. I mean, look at how short she is. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with me? Kelly, not now. She's 14. She's only as tall as my knees. That's what's wrong. I am the shortest one in my grade. Don't worry. You just haven't hit your growth spurt. I heard that because of genetically modified foods, she can develop allergies and die. I don't want to die. Stacy, shut. Barbie, that occurred in 1996 with soybeans containing Brazil nut genes, and no one died. They only went into anaphylactic shock. Even so, what about the environment? What about superweeds and butterflies? What about the butterflies? I don't want them to die. Shut up, Stacy. It's Kelly. Whatever. Guess who's not getting deserved for talking too much? Barbie, that can be prevented by inserting the genes into the chloroplast so that it does not spread into the pollen. And there is not enough pesticide in the pollen to kill butterflies. You know, I had the same conversation with someone at the grocery store today. She was a stripper and explained things a lot better to me about genetically modified foods. A lot more than you've ever told me aside from today. I invited her for dinner tonight. This sounds vaguely familiar. Anyways, did you still buy organic foods? She's a stripper. How smart can she be? That must be her. Now I remember. Crap. Things are going to get real awkward real quick.